Hello everyone. I hope you're having a fantastic day. Thank you so much for stopping by. Now today I'm doing the 10 cards 1 kit using the Simon to Stamp February 2018 card kit. Now this card kit is a crafter's card kit for sure. You get tons in this kit this month. You get watercolor, um, scissors, um, embossing folders, gems, papers, you even crafty glue. How cool is that? But I'm not going to go over everything that came in the kit. Just to save time, I will leave a link below to where you can check it out if you're interested. Now, we're just going to jump in. We have 10 cards to make. So first off, I'm going to take this um, diagonal pattern border stamp that came in the set. I'm adding this to a piece of white card stock. And um, I have a mini Hero Hue. This is a charcoal colored ink and I'm just inking up my stamp and I'm going to stamp it. Actually I end up stamping it a few times on this white card stock. Once I get the stamping done I'm just going to trim it out. I wanted uh, to add a little bit of gray to my panel so I thought this is a great way to do that. Now I also cut out um, four strips of pattern paper that came with this kit and I did different widths. I wanted to create create kind of like a sewing kind of a theme. So I wanted to try out this glue. This is new to Simon Says Stamp and it's um, it's a craft glue. Normally I like to use my tape runners when I create cards but um, I thought I'd give this a try and it sticks really well. I'm, I'm, I'm liking it. The only thing I don't like is that there's a lot of air and so you have to really squeeze that tube to get the air out. But other than that, I mean, this, the tackiness is great. So I just arranged all my panels on a piece of white cardstock just to create a backing. And then I'm taking the stitched line that came in the stamp set. This is a very versatile stitched line. Um, it's um, movable, so you can create swirls with it. But for this card, I decided just to make a straight line. I'm inking it up with some Simon Says Stamp Intense Black Ink. And I'm just going to go over um, a few of the pattern papers with this. I thought it would give a nice, um, when you add black to any kind of a pattern, I think it just makes it pop a little bit more. So in the kit, there came um, some little um, wood veneer ca uh, cameras, and then there was one little sewing machine in there. So I thought, well, that would go good with this card. I'm just going to cut out my panel once I have all my stitched lines stamped. And here's that cute little sewing machine. Now I wanted to color it in and I chose to use some embossing powder. So what I'm going to do is take some temporary adhesive and add that to my little wood piece and stick that on a piece of scratch paper. Once I have that done, I'm going to go over the top of it with my Versamark ink. And then I'm just going to add some Simon Says Stamp Fine Detail White Embossing Powder. Now if you wanted a more um, intense white, you could probably do this a couple times. But um, I just did it once and it melts beautifully on the wood. Once I have that all done, um, in my stash I have some vellum. Uh, now I use the um, Basil 40, uh, 40 pound vellum and I I really like the weight of this so I'm going to take a circle die and just cut out a circle vellum piece here and then I kind of arrange my sewing machine on where I want it placed and then we're going to stamp our sentiment. For this card I chose the sentiment that says crafters got a craft. <laughs> it's cute and I'm going to go in with my um, intense black ink here. I'm going to stamp that. Now since this is vellum and since um, um, I didn't want my ink to smear, I decided to go in with um, some black embossing powder and go ahead and melt that. It gives the sentiment to a little bit of definition on my vellum. So Now I melted that. Now I'm going to add my um, some glue behind my little sewing machine and I'm going to place that in the vellum. I did trim down, I took off that bottom portion of my vellum circle 
and then I added glue behind it. Now I only, gl I only added glue behind my sewing machine. That way you couldn't see it peeking out from behind the vellum. Place that on my panel. And then in my stash, I, I found some, this is like a smoky gray jute cord. I'm gonna, I doubled it up. It's pretty thin stuff. And I, I wanted a color that kind of coordinated with my background cardstock. So I just wrapped it, tied a bow, and added it to my card base. For finishing touches, I went around the vellum with my white gel pen and created a few little faux stitching lines. And then um, in this kit came a bag of the Studio Cadia um, gems, and these are beautiful. I added three of the clear ones to my vellum. And that's it for that card. Now we're going to move along to card number two. For this card, I pulled out my mini Misty. And now I'm going to use the sentiment. It's so cute. It says, um, may you, may, wait, you make everything colorful. I thought that was so pretty. Now I'm stamping this on some, the watercolor cardstock that came in the kit. And I'm using my Versamark ink. I'm just going to go over that with my white embossing powder. And then go ahead and melt that. We're going to do a little bit of water coloring. And so I thought white would be a real pretty background for the sentiment. Now, once we have that heat set, I'm going to place that back in my mini Misty. Now in the stamp set, there's a cute little, um, little crafting gadgets. And so I decided to use the little paint tube. That's going to go right next to my sentiment. I'm going to place that in my Mini Misty, and then I'm going to do some stamping. Now, I chose four ink cubes. These are all Hero Hues. And I chose four colors that kind of coordinated with the um, the Daniel Smith dot palette here. So first of all, I'm going in with the Raspberry Jam. It's real pretty red. And it kind of came really close to, like I said, the Daniel Smith um, watercolors. Once I have that done, I'm going to take my sheet of white cardstock and I'm going to pull it down um, two of the little squares and then I'm going to ink up my little um, paint tube here and I'm going to stamp it again. This time I used butter bar. Now I didn't clean my stamp off well enough so my yellow turned into orange but it, it didn't bother me too much. I kind of like the color combination <laughs> so it was a good mistake. Next I'm going to go in with a real pretty turquoise ink. And after each time I stamp, I pull down my cardstock two squares. And it creates a perfect little pattern. Lovely. I think that looks so real pretty. Now I'm just going to take this cardstock and trim it down. Use just using my paper trimmer if I can get it the right way. <laughs> okay. Now the kit came, uh, even came with a water brush, a water pen. So I had already filled it up with water. And now I'm going to take the, the dot palette here and I'm going to go over, well actually I'm going to take my spray bottle. This is a Nuvo Light Mist spray bottle and I'm going to saturate my paper. This will help um, the watercolors kind of blend a little bit and kind of bleed a little bit out. So I'm, I want it to look as though the watercolor is coming out of the, cute, the tubes. And so this, I thought this turned out really fun. Um, I'm just drawing a line with watercolor, wiping my brush off if each time. And you can see how the, the color just kind of spreads out. I think it looks really, really neat. Last I'm going to go in with the green and then I'm just going to go over any open areas that I want to flow a little bit nicer with the watercolors. Now I did use my heat tool to kind of dry my, my panel just so we could finish this card here. And then I went through the papers that came in the kit and I grabbed two of them and I just cut two little strips and glued them, we'll use my tape runner, to adhere them to the bottom of this panel. 
Now I have taken two pieces of black cardstock. This one didn't come in a kit, it's actually from my stash, but I adhered a piece to the left of my panel and then to the bottom. And I did pop that up with foam tape. I'm gonna place that on the real pretty um, Audrey Blue cardstock that came in the kit. That's my card base. It's an A2 size card base. And then I did add a few gems and then I did add Wink of Stella to my little, um, my little paint splotches. And that's it for that card. Okay, now for card number three, I have, I'm using another piece of vellum and I'm inking up the sentiment that says sending you a handcrafted hello from, very, from so very far away. I'm using the Simon Says Stamp and Tense Black ink for this. And then in my stash, I have some embossing powder. This embossing powder is from Nouveau. It's a real pretty embossing powder. It's called Shimmering Pearl. And what I like about this step is that it takes on, it kind of um, pearlizes the color that you use behind it. So it's going to take this from a black, stark black color to like a real pearly gray. And then there is some iridescent um, shimmer to it. So I thought this would be real fun to create my sentiment with this. I'm just going to melt that embossing powder. And I did trim down my sentiment so it was nice and even. Lovely. Okay. Now, once we have that done, we need to work on our panel. I decided to take a piece of white cardstock here, and I already trimmed down my panel. Um, actually, no, I didn't do that yet, but I in, the kit came with two embossing folders. This one hap happens to be the Ascending Circles. Um, I'm not sure of the name, um, but it's, it's, it's from Tim Holtz, and it's a real neat embossing, fo embossing folder. I decided to leave my panel white, so I just trimmed that down a little bit. And then for adding a little bit of color to my card, I'm going in with my oxide inks. I started off with worn lipstick, and then I went in with fossilized amber, and then I'm going in with some twisted citron. So I have a, a gradient of colors. And what happened is that center color turned orange, and I, I wanted that because I'm going to use the orange card base. I found a circle die that will cut out that little stamped image perfectly. Now I'm using my tape runner and adhering the vellum, just wrapping it behind my panel towards the lower part of it. I'm adding some foam tape behind my little envelope here and placing it right next to my sentiment. I did decide to add three or four well, let, let's <laughs> three, four. This is how my husband counts when he says, you know, when he counts, he'll go two, four, nine, ten, twelve. <laughs> That's what I felt like I just did. But I added five se five of the pink sequins to my panel and then placed it on the rust colored, um, the orange rusty colored card base. But that's it. Oh, no. I did go around my little envelope with Wink Estella. But that's it for that card. Okay, now for card number five. This is one of my favorites. I think this turned out so fun. I'm taking some Memento Tuxedo Black ink and I'm going to stamp this little envelope. I'm going to stamp it on each of these um, pattern papers about three or four times. I went back and actually stamped a few more, but I tried to grab the color of pattern paper that was more subtle and two-toned, and I ended up grabbing four of them. Now after I have them all stamped, I'm going to end up um, fussy cutting all of those out. Squares are easy. I don't mind fussy cutting those out. Well, actually, I don't mind fussy cutting, but they were very easy to cut out. Now, once we have that done, there they are. Okay, I'm going to take, I already cut out my panel, and I have a, a square die. Now, I'm going to use this square die just as a um, tracing tool. I'm just going to trace a square using my pencil on the top portion of my panel. That's gonna be kind of like a guide for me. And then next, I'm taking the little scissors that came in the stamp set, and using just the Memento ink, I'm gonna stamp them towards the bottom of the square. Now I wanted to use the stitched line, and so I'm inking up that stitched line, and I used a piece of uh, posty tape. I didn't want it to go off. I wanted to create a square, so the posty helped the posty tape will help me um, create a square. So I just stamped it as if it was coming out from the scissors. 
And then I'm going to remove the posi tape and place it on the other side. And I'm going to grab another one and place it um, to the right side of my box too. And I'm going to do that around the in whole entire square. And on the very bottom one, I didn't want to go all the way up to it, so I left a little bit of a space. Next, I'm going to stamp my sentiment. The sentiment for this card is going to say, Hello, crafty friend. Hugs enclosed. So I think that looks fun. Now I'm taking the glue that came in the kit and then using the envelopes. I'm going to just glue a base layer of envelopes inside the center square here. And then whatever was left over, I popped up with foam tape and placed them inside my little box too. Now I erased my pencil marks. And there we have a fun, little fun 3D, lot of hugs and clothes card. <laughs> I'm going to flip that over, add foam tape, and attach that to my, um, my card base, which is the yellow one. And then for a little extra, I'm going in with my white gel pen, adding little hearts to my little envelopes. And I think that looks so cute. But that's it for that one. Okay, now we're going to move along to card number six. I'm cutting out a strip of this paper. Um, it's like a wood grain. You can, you can barely tell, but it's real pretty. I'm going to place it in my Mini Misty, and then I'm going to grab the Thanks sentiment that came in the stamp set. I'm going to just stamp that with Versam um, Versamark ink, and then I'm going to use my white embossing powder and heat set that. I did trim it down a little bit, just to make sure it was even. Now, I love the, pa the flower pattern paper that came in the kit. So I wanted to use that. So I decided to grab a butterfly die from my stash. Now I'm going to cut out three butterflies using the almost solid colored pattern papers that were in the kit. This is a um, red like checkered and then this is a real pretty blue that has the same circles as my sentiment. And then this one has X's on it. So I'm just going to cut out three butterflies. And I had to cut out my panel with that real pretty flower pattern paper. I'm just going to fishtail the end of my sentiment here. And then I'm going to end up popping that up with some foam tape and placing that on my panel. I'm just kind of, once I have that done, I arranged my butterflies. I ended up putting one, um, the yellow one on the top, and then the two others right below my sentiment. And then I did use the, the clear Studio Cadia, um, what are they? They're crystals. They're so pretty. So, and there's three different sizes of the clear. So I put them in the center of my butterflies. Now to keep those butterflies a little bit, um, dimensional, I did add a little bit of foam tape right behind their wings. I placed that on a white card base, and that's it for that card. Okay, now for card number seven. This was a fun one. I decided to take all the crafting utensils that were in the stamp set, which is the pen, the paintbrush, the paint tube, the marker, and the pencil. And I'm kind of arranging them on my acrylic block. Once I have that done, I'm going to grab my VersaFine ink, and I'm going to stamp. This is actually... Um, um, watercolor, Tim Holtz. I actually had some in my stash. It's Tim Holtz um, watercolor cardstock. It works great for watercoloring. So I'm just going to stamp all these utensils all over this panel. Um, I did add clear embossing powder and then I'm melting that. Any open areas, I took that little heart in there and I filled it in with my that little itty bitty heart and I think it looks really fun. Now, I'm going to take the dot palette, the color palette here, and using the um, watercolors, I am going to, I, my first intention was to just, well, I'm spraying it again. I'm going to saturate my paper with my spray bottle. But my intention was to kind of make it look as if each of the little elements, the inks were coming out of them. But by the time I got done, the whole entire panel <laughs> was covered with watercolor. And it, and it was a good outcome. I really liked it. I was just careful that I didn't 
um, put two colors together that didn't kind of go together. I wanted to keep it kind of real pretty and vibrant. But that's it for that little panel. Nice and colorful. Now I wanted to go in and I am inking up the diagonal striped border stamp. I'm inking up with um, fossilized amber and then to the right here I'm inking up with some candied apple and then to the left I'm going in with some twisted citron. Kind of creating like a little rainbow effect. I'm going to stamp that on the bottom of a piece of white cardstock. And I love the way that looks. Once that's done, I'm going to attach that to my watercolor paper. And then I did stamp on a piece of black cardstock. The sentiment says you make everything colorful. And I attached that right below my diagonal stamp there. Now I'm going to place this on the rust colored card base. I just trimmed it down and popped it up. And I'm placing it a little bit towards the left. And that completes that card. I think it turned out real fun. <laughs> okay, now we're going to move along to card number eight. For card number eight, I wanted to use the other embossing folder. This one has little squares on it. And so I decided to, um, I want to do something different. So I decided to go in with some, this is Distress Oxide ink. And I'm going directly on top of the embossing folder with it. This is Seedless Preserves, and then this one was uh, Broken China, Twisted Citron, and then I did go on with Fossilized Amber, creating kind of like a little bit of a rainbow effect. And this is going on the, on the bottom part of the embossing folder. Next, I'm going to add some water by just lightly spraying it, and then I'm going to place my piece of white cardstock right on top, and then I'm going to run that through my Big Shot. And this creates a really neat, neat effect. And that's one great thing about the Oxide inks is, is they wash beautifully. <laughs> I, I washed my baby my embossing folder with the baby wipe and it just turned out perfect. Now for my sentiment, I masked off the hello and this um, stamped sentiment here. And then I added um, white embossing powder to it. And I'm using black cardstock, of course. But um, I'm going to go ahead and melt that. And then I, I wanted to know what it would look like with the oxide inks on that hello. Now it didn't, it wasn't as bright as I wanted it to be. So maybe um, hindsight I would have used white cardstock. But I'm just creating like a rainbow effect with, with the three colors here. Fossilized Amber, Broken China, and then Seedless Preserves. And then I did mask off the top and lower part of the sentiment. I'm gonna I'm gonna just position it and stamp it back in its home here. And you can see you can see it, but it's just not as vibrant as I wanted it. But I still think it looked pretty. So I'm just gonna trim that down. I'm taking the diagonal striped border stamp here, inking it up with some black ink. And then I'm going to be using a white card base. So this is the card base here. I'm going to stamp my diagonal stripe directly on my card base to the left here. And then I went ahead and popped up my embossed folder area, my embossed panel area, and I placed my sentiment on it. Now I did add a little heart in the O and then um, actually there was a little heart in there. I just intensified it with my white gel pen. But that's it for that card. Fun way to use your oxide inks with those embossing folders. Now next, I'm going to be using my um, Broken China here and I'm adding it to a piece of um, Bristol Smooth cardstock. And I'm going to do the same thing with the twist, uh, Twisted Citron. This was a fast and simple easy card. Once I have that done, I'm going to just lightly add some droplets and activate that ink to give it a little bit of look and texture look. And then in my stash, well I had the circle dies on my desk so I thought I would use them for this card. I'm going to create some circle frames but I want them to be a little bit wonky. So I'm just um, layering some circles on each of the panels and I'll die cut out some circles. 
you could see I stamped with the broken china, the little circle stamp that was in the stamp set that had the envelope. I stamped that and placed that on there. Later on, I removed it and popped it up with foam tape. No. <laughs> And the glue works great for this too. Now I'm going to get a stitched rectangle die and cut out my panel, pop it up, and I'm going to place that on the Audrey Blue cardstock here. The colors went beautifully. So Broken China and the Audrey Blue go really nice together. <laughs> I s used the little envelope stamp that was in the stamp set and I stamped that with a twisted citron, placed that right on top of the other one. And then for the sentiment, I chose just to stamp with black ink the word the sentiment that says hugs enclosed and then I'm going to place that right below my little envelope I just trimmed it down for a few bells and whistles I'm going to grab some of those beautiful clear uh, crystals and that's it for that card now for our final card I wanted to use um, this floral pattern again. I thought it was so pretty. I'm going to attaching it to, it's a very faint, very dark wood grain brown pattern paper. So I'm going to add that. I did tie a bow with some white, white twine there around the seam. Now we need a sentiment. So I cut out the word handmade in the pattern paper. And then I also cut out, um, I'm happy when I'm crafting. And I'm going to just directly glue that in the center of the handmade. And I think that creates a real nice sentiment. I did pop the handmade up with foam tape. So just to give it a little bit of dimension. Now, the, the, I have to straighten this real fast. <laughs> and I was going to call that done, but of course I needed something else. And so I decided to take the scissors that were in the stamp set and I stamped it with my Versamark ink. I stamped two of them. And then I also stamped the sentiment that says, Hello, Crafty Friend. And I added white embossing powder, melted it. And I think that that created a more finished panel for me. I'm just adding foam tape behind this. And I'm placing that on my white card base. And that's it for that card. I love those colors. Okay, now... I guess, you know what, I'm somehow I missed a card. I'm so sorry, that wasn't the final card. <laughs> okay, this is the final card. Now, I'm taking a piece of white card stock, and this is probably my second favorite. I really like the way this one turned out. I'm taking that Thank stamp, and I'm placing it in my Mini Misty, stamping it once, and then I'm, I'm pushing up my card stock two of the little squares, and then I'm repeating it. So I have Thank stamped six times, and I really like the way this turned out. This time I used um, Simon Says Stamp um, Ultra Fine Silver Embossing Powder, and I love, love the way this turned out. The silver embossing powder looks so fantastic with watercolors, at least the, the watercolor cho choice. Okay, now um, I melted that embo uh, embossing powder, and now I am going to color it in. So I grabbed the little dot palette. Now how I color this in is I'm going to use all six colors. I'm starting off with the T, and then I'm going down at a diagonal with that same color. And then for the next color, I'm going to go in with the green on the H, and then I'm going to just trail down at a diagonal. This is going to create a real fun, even rainbow look. But I love the way that turns out. So fun. I did add some of that gray jute cord that I had in my stash that coordinates with the, the charcoal gray cardstock. And I wrapped it around the bottom. I did trim down that panel just so it was even. And then I decided to take my corner chomper. This is the half inch side and I rounded the top of those corners. I'm just going to pop that up with some foam tape and place that on the gray card base. And that's it for that card. Simple, but so fun. I think it was really, the colors, I just loved it. I think it turned out real pretty. For close-ups too, guys, if you want to visit my blog, I'll have close-ups. and They'll be more detailed. But here's a quick look at all 10 cards that I made using the Simon Says Stamp um, February 2018 card kit. The name of this card kit is A Colorful Crafty Life. 
a lot of fun little elements to give to your crafty friends. Um, again, I'll leave links below. I'm not sure if the kit's available or not, um, but you can check it out I'll, at the Simon Says uh, Stamp Shop along with what came in this kit. Thank you very much for watching, and I wish you a great day, guys. Bye-bye.